I don't really care about what you say. I'm gonna come back like a boomerang. Oh, what's going on everybody? Eric Barassa here, and today I want to teach you the new Angels and Airwaves song. I don't know what it's called. What is the name of this, uh, this song? Anyway, here's what we're gonna do. Um, I'm gonna dive right in. I'm sorry, there's not gonna be any tablature for this one because uh, the longtime viewers, or if you saw my video from last week, uh, I have carpal and cubital tunnel, and uh, my hands are kind of killing me right now, so uh, I'm going to try to keep things light with my hands until I get my surgery on August the 24th. So forgive me for that, but you'll just kind of have to follow along with what I've got here. So uh, we're starting out with a distorted bass line, which goes like this. By the way, we're in standard tuning. We are actually uh, in the key of C, and we're starting on the note D, fifth fret of the fifth string, if you're playing this on a guitar, instead of a bass, and we're going to go D, 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 E, C, C, uh, actually, you're just going to hit the C once and let it ring, D, 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 E, C, C, D, C, C, D, 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 C, C, D, C, C. So actually kind of a complex bass line uh, there, and you've got some rests to take care of. So let me do that one more time slowly. D, 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 E, C, C, D, C, C, D, 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 C, C, D, C. Now, I highly recommend learning the notes on your fretboard. So when I say D, I'm talking about the fifth fret on the fifth string. That's your A string. When I say E, I'm talking about the seventh fret on the A string. When I say C, I'm talking about the third fret on the A string. And when I say G, I'm talking about the third fret on string six. All right. So when the verse starts, it's basically the same thing. But then we go to this. We're going to go G, 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 G. I don't remember exactly what that rhythm is there, but um, but it's it's something like that. It's just G and F the second half. So again, the verse D D D D E C C D C C G G G G G F F F F something like that. And the second time through that verse, it does a hard stop the first time you hit that F. So cut out. Okay, and then the second half of the verse, the guitars and some synths come in. It's not very guitar-like, but it sounds like it's just like C's and G's. Okay, so you could play like the uh, fifth fret on the third string, and then the eighth fret on the uh, second string. So that's a C and a G, and you could kind of go like... Right, and they're splitting it, going back and forth for in the stereo. So if you had two guitar players playing, you guys could kind of take turns bouncing those back and forth. Okay, so then we get into the chorus. Do we have a pre-chorus after the first verse? I can't remember, but let's just get into the chorus riff. The chorus goes like this. Okay, so this is cool because it's basically just C to F, a C power chord. So here's my C power chord, third fret on the fifth string, and then to F power chord, first fret on string six. Um, but we have this transition. So that little transition is uh, first fret on string six to third fret on string six, and then fifth fret on string five. So we've got C power chord, one, three, five, F power chord. Um, and those notes are F, G, and D. F, G, and D. Okay, so F, G, D, F chord. And then we have D power chord transitioning back to the C power chord. Okay, uh, hopefully that makes sense. And um, now we have a pre-chorus. There's not a lot happening with the guitars here, but the basic harmony is D minor, C, G, and F. So...
You can do that as power chords, five, uh, D power chord, fifth fret on the fifth string, third fret on the fifth string, third fret on string six, first fret on string six. So we got D or D minor, C or C major, G or G major, F or F major. So that's the pre-chorus. And then the last part of the song is the bridge. The harmony for the bridge, what the bass is playing, what the overall chords would be, um, it's A minor, C, G, F. So you could do regular A minor, C, G, F, or you could do like power chords. But there's not actually a guitar playing that. Um, the, what the guitar is playing on the bridge, it's after two times... In the music video, it's shortened, but in the studio recording, um, the the bridge, the the bass plays through that pattern twice, and then a guitar comes in with guitar goes, it goes rest, rest, rest. Okay, so we've got the uh, basically we're holding the twelfth fret on the third string and the first or and the tenth fret on the second string at the same time. So you're gonna go third string, second string, third string, and then you do it again, and then you're gonna do twelve and twelve, and then thirteen and twelve. And so the rhythm is like one, two, three, four, one. Okay, so nice little pattern there. And that's everything. I hope I've explained that well. I wanted to be concise. Um, and let me know if you have any questions, and I'll try to answer them in the comments below. And maybe in a couple of months, um, or in about a month or so, when I've had my carpal, my, my bilateral carpal and cubital tunnel surgery, um, I'll be able to sit down and and type this out and spend a little more time on the computer. Hey, be sure and like and subscribe if you enjoyed this. And uh, I look forward to sharing more with you guys in a couple weeks when I get back to town. Stay tuned for the world premiere of my shred punk instrumental song, Orchidaceous, uh, which is coming out on Monday, August the 1st or something of 2021. If uh, if you're you're seeing this in the next couple of days when it airs, and I've droned on long enough, and uh, as as my great aunt Sweetness always says, keep your pants held high. <laughs>